Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. I know that um, a lot of you are asking me from time to time to give my personal uh, impressions of the solar cycle and how it's going. So we are, of course, on the rising side of the solar cycle 25, and it's looking very good. Uh, the sun is very active uh, right now. There's a big sunspot group that you see here on the uh, surface. And there's something really big coming around, apparently, according to some observations also. Um, the solar cycle at this time, as we are getting into February 2022, is rising faster, much faster than the uh, predictions, which is good news because it might indicate a much stronger cycle than predicted. And a lot of us remember those strong, amazing cycles from the 80s and the 70s. Um, so that is good news. It would arrive in two or three years from now. But you don't have to wait for a solar cycle's maximum to you know, have increased propagation. Honestly, right now, the sun's activity is so high that it is actually already showing on the shortwave bands. Uh, many people reporting hearing stations that they usually don't hear very well on the 16 meter band, 17 megahertz, and even some 13 meter band stations. As for my part, uh, one of the things I've noticed is um, pretty much almost every day some uh, activity on the 10 meter band and hearing some beacons. And actually, I want to make a few videos. Um, you know, to, I'm making this video right now, and the solar flex is like 130 or something like that, if you look at it here. Uh, solar flex right here, 130. Now, one of the things you got to be careful with uh, solar cycles is, of course, as more and more activity happens, that means there's also more and more possibility of flares and geomagnetic unrest and geomagnetic storms. It goes hand in hand. So that means that uh, we'll have some really good propagation, really good conditions mixed in with some unsettled conditions or bad conditions sometimes. But we are rising, uh, but, you know, don't wait for the solar cycle to be at its maximum to the X. The X happens all the time. Uh, when I hear someone saying, well, you know, I'm waiting for the peak of the solar cycle to finally do some DX. Um, it's not understanding propagation very well because DX is all the time, including even the, the low part of the solar cycle. Um, you know, it's just the higher frequencies are enhanced. But below a certain threshold, you know, solar activity has very little effect, uh, especially on the lower frequencies. But the good news, at least, is that the uh, solar cycle seems to be rising faster and might be much stronger than expected. And as uh, so we continue on solar cycle 25, that's coming up in a couple of years, 2024, 2025 for its peak. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see how it uh, measures up compared to past cycles. Um, Please go to spaceweather.com, great, great, great website for all the information that has to do with the sun and what's happening with solar activity. It's a great place to check out. And uh, don't rely too much on online information about solar activity. Turn on it radio, it's a much better reference, a much better idea, and check out by yourself by tuning around if conditions are good. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.